Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at the T800 Roach by Extro. Now we've seen some of Extro's designs in the past, they're usually rather complicated and rather exciting in design. Even though they are very complicated, they're usually very sort of innovative, and they show a lot of signs of a really great designer. Now we'll actually have a look at this machine today, we're going to dissect it, walk it, and have a move as well as firing some of its weapon systems so it's a six-legged mech now this machine was very surprising we've seen mechs in the past but they've been very slow now this machine is very fast so i'm just going to get straight onto walking it and then we'll dissect it so we're actually going to hop in the cockpit we're going to access the controls by hitting number nine and you can see that the legs kick into action straight away i'll hop back out to my side perspective with the spectator cam you can actually have a look how the legs are actually moving we've got the pistons that are pulling the leg up and down as well as the joint pistons that are pushing the leg in and out just look at the speed of this thing and it's even crossing over sort of minor bumps very well indeed so the outer leg is lifting up and reaching over the terrain and each leg is actually supporting each other so we have four legs on the grounds at all times so this thing is very well supported now let's head back into the cockpit just for the moment we'll position the camera over here and we'll hop back in with an f6 now we're in here we can actually begin trying to turn this thing so we'll try to turn it left so we're going to activate button number one and it's going to start turning the left leg sharper and the right legs will turn longer, pushing us around that left-hand turn. So let's actually get a look with an F8 on the spectator camera of exactly what's going on with them pistons there as we turn and rotate. So you can see how the legs are actually being retracted and pushed in. Just look at that piston technology. Wow. How has this guy done this? Uh, it's, it's amazing. So now a really cool feature of this machine is that we can actually make it stabilised. You see how we've got it at this perspective, it's halfway through a walking step and we've got legs off the ground, it's not very controllable and it could be knocked over. So if we actually press 9 on the second pad, you can actually see it starts to flatten out the legs and it balances all the legs off at equal points and it's a little bit springy and there you go it's come to a landing rest and we can also lower the legs individually so say you want to crouch down behind an objective you can see we can lower the rear legs center legs and forward legs all retracting down giving us a much lower profile and if this was some sort of troop transport even on a planet or something you could get guys straight out the back it's really cool indeed let's hop back in there and we'll go to an f8 sort of perspective and we'll try messing around with some of the turrets so to mess around with some of the turrets we'll press k and we'll find the remote control blocks so remote control where are you so i think this one is the front turret let's access f9 so we can actually move that around you see we've got front turret control we have a spotlight so we can see in dark sort of cavernous caves oh this is like a tunnel spider sort of machine when whatever they are when they're released and you've got two camera sort of perspectives as well as the gatling guns themselves so let's just hop back into first person and we can access one of the cameras now what is quite smart about this you can see the cameras have been zoomed in is you've got two on either side so if one is destroyed you've still got the accessibility of the other to continue maintaining that gatling gun fire now let's hop out of that and actually try to get control of the second one that is on the other tab so remote control two we take control of that and we'll go back outside so you can see we've got now control of the much larger sort of rocket turret on top now what's really cool about these as well as you're walking these turrets will function as well so you can see we can aim up and down and it's just really protected the sort of infrastructure of the turret where the rotors are and stuff so there's nothing really exposed to get blown off and damaged even though this thing i don't think it would take too much hammer because it's sensitive sort of like nature now let's actually set up a few of the firing commands so we'll go back into f6 we go to four we've got the camera and we can just fire all rockets at once we can also do a sort of synchronized fire so we can sort of fire them in different sorts of volleys so you can see there we can fire the lower upper and there we go it all starts on these magical sort of timer blocks very cool indeed now it's reloading back to six back to seven and there we go you can see it firing in different sort of patterns depending on how you set it up so i think for this final test we're actually going to attempt to walk this thing across the landscape while controlling some of the weapons so i've got three set up let's actually have a look so we've got the turret on top firing the rockets you can see it's moving very easily no sort of lag no sort of stutter but this is obviously just me playing by myself in a much larger server i guess it would have a lot more problems now let's switch back from that so we'll go to t and then five if we can and we can get access to the machine gun on the front and we've gone out of camera perspective so let's grab back the camera and we'll try to bring it into another spot there so there we're back in control of that front gun we'll turn on the little light there as we're looking through some sort of dark tunnel oh it's so cool <laughs> 
So to wrap this up, the T800 takes piston based walkers to the next level and the core factor of this is it uses a very realistic system. It uses a push and pull method, like the muscle in your arm. If you um, pull the muscle or you contract the muscle in the arm, one is pushing and one is pulling. And this is what this system used to be pretty effective at running across this barren landscape. And it even uses that system within the joint itself. You can just about see it there. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and make sure you check this out on the workshop.